All give praises, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Kodash, and double honor to the Apostle, the Elders of well, peace and salutations to the Akim, elect, four corners, pushing the truth of sincerity, peace be unto you. This is, uh, for as much, First Peter 4 1, for as much then as Hamashiach had suffered for us in the flesh. So, but what did he suffer in the flesh? He first, he suffered, you know, being ridiculed, judged, you know, people all in his business, constantly trying to, uh, you know, catch him up, you know, falsely accusing him, you know, and the ultimate suffering was when he gave his life and he died on the, you know, he died in a slew on the tree. This was, you know, the ultimate suffering for us in the flesh. Okay, likewise, when the same mind, for he that suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his life in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. And so, what are the lusts of men? You know, the lusts of men are the things that we get involved in. You know, one of the main lusts of men is sex. It can be sex, it can be sports, video games. Can be food, cooking, you know. These are the lusts of men. You know, the angels aren't tripping over stuff like that. Verse 2, that he no longer should live in the rest of his life, his lifetime in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. And what's the will of God is that we keep the law, statutes, and commandments. That's the, the main duty. You read that in Ecclesiastes, and I'll get that. <coughs> Instead of just paraphrasing it. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty that we're supposed to do, we're supposed to perform. Because that's living according to the will of God. 1 Peter 4 and 2 again. That he no longer should live the rest of his life in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. So these are some of the other things. Uh, because... The, the Gentiles, that's the furthest thing from the Most High. You know, he's comparing and contrasting the Most High's will versus the Gentiles' will. You know, they want to be involved in all their, you know, hooplas and stuff like that. They have no God. Wherein they think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of right, speaking evil of you. So they think it's odd and weird that you're not involved in the same stuff. You're not, you don't want to get down on this orgy. Man, what's wrong with you, man? You don't like pussy? Man, you don't you don't want to come down, uh, you know, uh, over here, you know, and, and, and roll up some blunts? Man, what's wrong with you? Some, this is this is why. <clears throat> when they think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, <clears throat> that they might be judged according to the men in the flesh, but live according to men in the flesh, but live according to the Spirit, to God in the Spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch 
unto prayer, and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover a multitude of sins, meaning help your brothers out. Give to them. That's what charity is. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Hospitality, you know, always trying to, you know, be a burden on somebody. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak of the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, to whom be praises and a dominion forever. Amen. Behold, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you,